compute by hand the absolute value of negative 4. Now, if we remember the definition from our textbook, the absolute value of a number is the distance that a number is from 0 on the number line. So if we find where negative 4 is on the number line, we can see, well, if, if I want to figure out how far that is from 0, we can say, well, if we take a look at that, from 0 down to negative 4, is, we have to go down 4 places. And so we would say that the absolute value of negative 4 is just 4. The absolute value of negative 4 just equals 4. It's a positive 4. We don't need to write the positive sign because if we don't show a sign in front of the number, we understand that it's a positive number. In our next example, finding the absolute value of 3, well, if we find 3 on our number line and say, well, how far is that from 0? It certainly, I hope, makes sense to say that, yep, sure enough, 3 is 3 away from 0. And so we would say that the absolute value of 3 just equals 3. So notice a couple of things here, whether our number that we were taking the absolute value of was positive, as in our last example, or is negative, as it was in our first example, we can see that the absolute value is always going to be a positive number, because we always want to be thinking about distance as a positive. Now, in our last example, we have something that we have to be a little bit careful of. Notice this negative sign that's sitting out front. That negative tells us that we want to take the opposite of the absolute value of negative 2. So if we want to think about that carefully, we say, well, that negative sign that's out front that's telling me to take the opposite, I'm just going to bring that along with me for a second. And now I'm going to say, well, what is the absolute value of negative 2? If we find negative 2 on the number line and say, well, where is that in relationship to 0? We say, yep, sure enough, negative 2 is 2 spaces away from 0, 2 units away from 0. So the absolute value of negative 2 would be just 2. So the absolute value of negative 2, we said, is 2. But remember that negative sign that was out front that we still have to keep track of. We want to be sure that we don't lose that. So that negative sign I'm going to just bring down here. And that's telling me take the opposite of negative 2, or the opposite of positive 2. And sure enough, the opposite of 2 is negative 2. Notice that the negative sign that was out front telling me to take the opposite is going to give me a negative answer for my final answer here. Even though absolute value itself is always positive, that negative sign out front turned my final answer negative.